Hi friend, today we're gonna learn about how to upload the documents, video and picture in Amazon S3 using Angular. And the library we are going to use in this whole demo or in this application is we are going to use the AWS S3 libraries and which are based on the TypeScript, JavaScript, yeah. So just to start with, I just want to give you a high level overview of what is this application. So here we have a app, uh, just a simple demo app where we have documents, pictures and video and same kind of mapping we have done here in the S3. So you can see over here we have documents, pictures and videos. And if we navigate to the videos, so then we have two video listed over here same way if we go and click over here we have two videos listed over here so now we're gonna upload one more video so let's browse and then here is video two we select it and if you can see in the console log it's showing some progress so then maybe we can go back here and we click or is it not done yet so third video is coming over here so let's see again so let me refresh yeah it's there perfectly fine so now this application is working as you can see so now the time to go to the code and go through the lines of code what has been done so here you go so as of you have to be familiar with the angular 8 to start with this upload functionality i will say okay so just to start with like in all the angular application we have generally one uh, like uh, component which has two thing one is html part of it and then another is the typescript part of it so in html part so what you have to do is so what thing has been done is it's just like an input tag where in the input tag we have defined the file is the type of this and then we are given the ids and then we have mentioned okay my it's can upload the multiple files and we have put the style okay it's none because i don't want to show it on the, my user interface but it's all again depend on you whether you want to display or not it's all depend on the functionality what your users require. so the main key thing over here is on change event so we are calling a method and that method is passing all the files to the typescript component so if we go in the typescript component so like on file change here you will see on file change so here we are getting the list of all the files we have uploaded so we are iterating through all the files using this loop and from that loop we are getting actually one file in every iterations and then now this file is put into a array so now then again that array i have iterated and i'm calling this upload file method and in the upload file method i'm just getting one file and here we have defined the parameters like what is my bucket name where i want to upload what is gonna be the key so here like uh, this is a static variable so it means it's going to be sitting in the video folder which i have shown in AWS S3 and then this expiring time also you can do it so all depend on your requirements and then content type you have to mention so by using all these parameters you can call a get signed URL with put object attribute and then it's gonna return you a URL so this URL is where you can upload your files your pictures your videos so once you're gonna do a HTTP put request using this URL and then you have to put the actual file the file dot data contains actual file then it's gonna upload to s3 and this subscribe 
under the subscribe we have put okay if it is successful then it will print something if it is error then it's going to print the error and the, this is also part of the error if any error comes then there is an alert so so the main key thing what i want to highlight over here is uh, this part getting a signed url is not done in the right way from a security perspective so i would recommend you guys to get a signed url from your dotnet api if you are using dotnet or a java api or if you are using java or uh, if you are using python so call a web service over there and that's going to return you the signed url and then use that url because to get the signed url in this code you have to put your aws credentials in this component or in this application which is i don't think is the right security press so that's the one thing and uh, another thing which i think is the wrong over here so like this is uploading file one by one so it's always better if we have like a, your user want to upload 10 files 20 files parallelly so we should have some mechanism to upload the files parallelly so however this code is just limited to scope of uploading file one by one yeah that's all about this